Once installed, the Quality Insight link will be added to the QCBIN file. In the Site Administration, you will need to enable Quality Insight via the Tools menu by entering the Quality Server URL and username. You will also need to enable Quality Insight in the Project level via the Site Projects menu. The Executive Dashboard lets you create and manage KPI cards to measure how your team or organization progresses towards goals. Let's see an example on how to create a fixing ratio KPI cards. The first card we will create is of total number of defects. You can select the domain and project, as well as edit the filter to be focused on a specific release. The second card we will create is of the number of resolved defects. We will edit the filter to include the same release as defined in the first card. And we will also filter the status to be of closed and or fixed defects only. The third card we will create is a percentage card, where the numerator will be of the resolved defects card value and the denominator will be of the total defects card. The result we'll get is the fixing ratio of the number of resolved defects out of the total defects found in the filtered release. When exit the edit mode and click on the number, we can see a summary of all defects related to the card. Now let's go back to the edit mode and see more functionality. The indicator enables you to define indicators and thresholds for the dashboard. Here you can see some predefined indicators for both number and percentage cards. For example, you can define a thresholds indicator for a percentage card where if the percentage is higher than 80%, then it will color the value in green. If the percentage is between 50 and 80%, it will color the value in yellow. And if it's below 50, it will color the, the value in red. Now let's go back to the fixing ratio card and assign the new indicator instead of the default one. The card value will be colored in red since it's below the threshold of 50% as defined in the new indicator. You can also create a tag indicator to use tags instead of colors. When you apply the, the tag indicator, then the relevant tag will be added to the card according to the threshold definition. In addition, you can define an indicator for number card as well, and edit its threshold as done for the percentage card. In this example, it will be colored in orange, since the number is between 100 and 200. You can also add card with predefined filter using the Add from Sample option. 
For example, let's choose the defect pending verify sample to filter defects that were fixed in the last 7 days. The filter setting will be filled in automatically. You can then update the historical data to reflect your need. For example, let's update the last X days to be 300. And when saved, a new number card will be added to the dashboard with the calculated value.